Location, location, location. Not only in property, but in any other urban field, it is essential to know about your environment. To this regard, we're going to now learn how to add information from one geospatial reference layer to another one. So what I invite you to do is first, you will open the layers we are using, which are in our case, the census data of Australia, and adding a georeferenced point to it. First thing I do, I add the census data. It's a vector later, layer, so I add that. I browse to the, to the field of week number four. And then here is the census data, the shape file, and I open the file which has an SHP at the end. We add, and what you see is that you have multiple polygons on your uh, environment. Then we add the other point. We are using a single point for speed, but it works with any other point layer. We add a layer, add layer, it's a vector layer. We browse. And we have the center of Melbourne, where we have this layer at the point, close it. And you see there's now a single point. And if you zoom in, we can see the point is somewhere here. To know about this point, we can open the table, attribute table, or F6. Open it. And the only thing it has is an ID, and it has one. What we want to know is the underlying attributes of the area it, it is covering. So we want to know the information about the shapefile where it is on. To do that, we first have to change the projection of both layers. How do we do this? By clicking on this and then save as. So we do export save feature as and we use a file name which you can remember, for example. center of Melbourne. And since we are looking for a specific representation of distance, we want to have the UTM 55 South in Melbourne. And we want to have it as a shapefile. going to use, we change the CRS, the representation and projection layer, and we're only going to have WGS 84 UTM so in 55 South. Press OK, and voila, we have a new point, a new layer, which is exactly the same point, and we do exactly the same thing for the uh, uh, census day, uh, layer, where we change the projection, say Feature as, change it into a UTM zone 55 south, then add the information to name. So we call it census UTM 55 south, and press OK. That might take a moment, or you can see the bar at the base. And voila, we have now a pink layer here, and we can stop. So now we have two layers which have the same projection. That means they have the same coordinate system. This is the only way where a computer can understand which points are on top of each other. If they don't have the same coordinate system, the computer doesn't know how to compute. So the next thing what you have to do is go into Vector, Data Management Tools, Join Attribute by Location. Click on it, and you say first the interesting part, like the, the layer you want to have, and the layer where you should go to. And use always the ones which have the UTM 55 South, and then you can run it. Now you see the computer is computing, and as you see, it takes a while for a single point. 
it takes a moment. So the computer is quite slow to do this. And you can do that for a larger data set, but it might take you way longer. So I advise you to do this for any kind of data set above 50,000 overnight, uh, because otherwise it's just sitting there and waiting. Close it, and we have a new data, a data layer. It's called Joint Data Layer. If we open the attribute table, you have now all of the information from that number ID as well as all of the census. You have the number of dwellings, the number of people, and so on and so forth. So, voila, you have joined your first layer by location.